problem today with my MCAT group, but it's going to be very valuable even if you take the DAT or the OAT exam. This is going to be a problem on PKA and PKB, and this is going to be imperative in biochemistry. Now, we all remember PKA and PKB from Gen Chem is equal to 14 if you're at 25 Celsius. But let's do something that's a little more tougher. I'm going to give you up here the amino acid lysine. Now, notice I'm going to protonate all the groups. I protonate this, the side chain, and the alpha amino group, and I assign PKAs. Last week, we said that PK1 was about 2.3 for a carboxy group. So I'm on an amino acid. So I assign 2.3, 9.64 of the alpha amino group, and this side chain I give you is 10.8. Now before we start, we want to make sure we understand PK1 represents the most acidic proton. So the most acidic proton means this H would be the first one to be coming off to be donating. All right. So the last one that will come off would be this one, because it's got the highest pKa, and I assigned it as pKa3, meaning it would come off third. So the least acidic donates last, most acidic donates first. So that's easy enough. Now if we fully deprotonated that, this is where it gets tricky, and where I'm going to hit this today and explain this. Um, when we deprotonate it, we lost an H from here, we lost an H from here, and we lost an H from there. Now, be careful now. As you can see, the group that was the most acidic now becomes what? The least basic. So because it's the least basic, and we're talking about a base, I assign it as PKB3 because it's the least basic. Now let's come from the other side. This was the least acidic, so now it would be the most basic, and that's where it gets tricky. Since it's the most basic, I'm going to assign it as PK1, PKB1, sorry, PKB1. That would mean that that will pick up the proton first, since it was the least acidic. Now it's the most basic. And therefore, by default, this one would be our PKB2. So putting it all together, as you can see, PK1 is related to PK. KB3. So now I can say PKA1 plus PKB3 is 14. That would blow out the whole class. What would be another relationship? PKA2 is related to PKB2. And finally, PKA3, which was here, is related to PKB1. So we could derive these three relationships. PKA1 plus PKB3 is 14, PKA2 plus PKB2 is 14, and PKA3 plus PKB1 is 14. Definitely a little bit confusing, but go over it a few times. But keep in mind, if you labeled the lowest one as the most acidic and the highest one as the least acidic, then you can figure out all the rest. So make sure you go over it as something in grad school. I find 95% of kids never really understand this. All right, I hope this helps, and we'll be talking about this for the rest of the um, afternoon and do some passages.